Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and um, I'm just going to be, you know, talking to you about um, what knowledge we really should have. Um, so, what type of what type of knowledge is acceptable towards heaven? Um, so, wondering, how do I get to heaven? And unfortunately, it's not by the knowledge of sin. We should not have a knowledge of sin because um, that means we should not know sin. If we know sin, then we are then we are not acceptable to God in His eyes. But if we know Christ, we know no sin. Because if we know no sin, let me let me put it to, to in a different way. Christ knew no sin, and we should also be like Christ. And um, we should not, it doesn't mean we know about, we should not know about sin, but we should know, no longer, we should no longer know sin personally. Because if we know sin, we're going to perish. So personally knowing sin is not a good thing. It's, that means we're going to perish. Um... So what is um, a clue, what is a really good clue for um, us believers? So to believe in Christ is one thing, but another thing was to believe in wisdom. We need to believe in wisdom and we need to know in Christ. Another thing we need to believe in is um, loving children. Because they know no sin. So... What is what does a child know other than sin? Well, they they know childish things, but they also know Christ, the one who saved them. In the fu I mean, they know Christ, the one that saved us in the future, or it saved us um, when we accept Him. So. The, ch the children also know Christ very well. They know all the perfect things of Christ, but they know no sin. For we should tell the children to pray that they shall keep their innocence forever. That they know no sin, but they know of sin. To not know sin at all, personally, will make you redeemed in heaven. And personally knowing sin is uh, knowing any type of sin and every type of sin. To age in sin is to age in um, any type of problem that your life has um, personally. To age in sin you can see it physically and you know it mentally. It gets worse, and the old people tend to get really, and uh, I mean really, um, the the elderly tend to get really um, sad and depressed and angry. And you shall know them by the fruits of who they really are, if they know sin, or if they do not know sin. And if they're redeemed, if they have the good fruits, then they're they're good fruits. If they're not good fruits, then they're not good fruits. So, once, it, once you see a person die, do they seem to panic? Or do they seem to be calm after, right before their death? <coughs> I have these allergies. So, it really depends. I mean, is your whole entire family seem to be panicking about the the fact that they are that they are dying? Then maybe you should wake up. Maybe you should see what false doctrine they're listening to, whether it be something about Catholicism or another type of um, Christianity like Protestantism that something is amiss or 
Is there a church or a Pentecostalism? It seems to be a mess, or any of these um, um, denominations seems to be a mess. If anything in your church seems to be a mess, and that's killing off your family and making them panic like that, maybe you should know. What type of sin do they know? Because, like I said, personally knowing sin will make you perish. So, again, believe in Jesus Christ. Do not believe in sin. Believe in the Father who sent his son to die on the cross so that you may be saved because of his he was innocent and he died on the tree and that it was his um um that it was his testimony was his um what do you call that I don't know this word anymore <clears throat> that it was his um That was his courtship. That was his um, um, contract that we should, should be saved. That, that the tree was a contract. And that his blood was his contract. And that he died innocently was his contract. And that he perished was his contract. And that his contract made him live again. And that he um, ended up, you know, basically rescuing people through his contract since he was perfect he knew no sin he didn't know what what really was that made people really upset but we're to, we're to, we ought to not know sin in personally knowing sin Jesus Christ didn't know sin what it was we're supposed to not know sin personally because you know for people who are in sin that means these people you know, these people that pers that um, are in sin. The revelation, the very end of the chapters uh, of the revelations, I think Revelations five one explains perfectly because there are eight categories of sin that people go in. The immoral, which is uh, let's go by this category, the cowards, the unbelievers, the corrupt. The murderers, the immoral, the witch, the witch, the witchcraft, um, the idolatry, and then the liars. Those are the categories that sins go in, and there's all kinds of sins that you can do. All kinds of sin. There's countless of sins that you can do. There are just eight eight categories, and to actually just do the sins because you liked it, um, that means you're going to perish. This is no Jesus got you saved. This is no you're um, with Jesus. You know, you're born innocent, but then after you knew sin, you were on your own. Either to know Christ or not to know Christ. Because remember, Jesus may be loving, but he is the Lord of all lords. He is the Lord that will, you know, judge you. He is the lion. He is the lamb. And let me, let me explain this in the end of the video. Five categories that God really is. He is perfect. He is all-powerful. Um, he is ruler over all he is he is perfect he is powerful he is um loving uh, no, alright so he is perfect he is powerful he is loving um he is infinite and also He is holy. Let me explain this to you again. He is uh, perfect. He is ruler. Which is he is all powerful. He is um, loving. 
He is infinite. And, um... He is holy. So let me explain this to you again. He is, um... He is perfect. He is, um... He is perfect. He is powerful. He is loving. He is infinite. And he is... Per he is holy. He is holy. So... That just means he will protect his children through power, through um, love, through um, um, basically th he will protect his children through his love, his power, his um, infinite ways, his holiness, and you know. Uh, and also, I don't know, what was the fifth one? Because he has perfect, he will protect his children through perfection. He will, per, he will per, um, protect his children through love and um, power in his infinite ways and holiness. Just remember that all this. He will do it to serve his purpose. And that his perfect purpose is perfect. It is infinite. His purpose is loving. It is all-powerful. And it is holy. And it is infinite. Anyway, I'll be done now, okay? Bye.